Yes, hello. Thank you very much for having us uh, at the Interactive Film and Media Conference in 2022. Uh, my name is Franziska Bruckner. Uh, I will present this paper, which I developed together with my colleagues Georg Vogt and Clemens Baumann. And it's about immersive storytelling in the areas creative media, smart manufacturing and healthcare. It was developed within the four-year project Immersive Media Lab. Here, uh, we are using up-to-date technical expertise on augmented and virtual reality uh, and combine it with interdisciplinary research on immersive storytelling. We have a prototypical implementation of five use cases in the already mentioned areas of creative media, smart manufacturing and healthcare. So you can see uh, our team is very broad. Uh, we had a, a, a big team within the five use cases. I just want to mention a few names. The use case lead leaders were Rosa von Süß, Markus Wintersberger, Michael Eber, Matthias Husinski, uh, and Andreas Jackel. And they, of course, also contributed very much uh, to this presented paper. The use cases itself are called Immersive Video Interaction, EV, Intermedia Motion Tracking in AR, VR, IMTA, Auditory Augmented Reality in Production, ARIP, AR, VR Interfaces for the Industrial Internet of Things, AIET, uh, Enlightened Patients with Augmented Reality, EPA. While the implementations in terms of content and technology vary in each use case, uh, the five use cases were examined in their contributions to an overarching storytelling theme. And here it was interested for us uh, to look um, at their similarities, but also the, their differences. So our research questions for these papers were, how is the story defined in each context and what is its purpose? Which methods and technologies are used to convey it? And which narrative elements show potential and how can they be developed further for the future applications. And if you're interested in uh, detailed results of the use cases, uh, we'll give you a list uh, of all papers already published within the Immersive Media Lab, and you can look it up there. Just what is the overarching uh, storytelling theme? Um, of course, um, the most basic definition of storytelling is either problem-based storytelling or the ancient trinity, uh, so which are beginning, middle, end. This is the basic definition of story. A coherent story and uh, with underlying narrations opens up a number of perspectives within culture, history, media, medicine, pedagogy and so on. Uh, but storytelling can also mean that you collect and transfer knowledge about events, processes, or con convey a mass of data in an understandable fashion. So those best aspects are usually seen in separate contexts. We combined it here or compared it here uh, within the Immersive Media Lab, and we also connected it to the specificity of the used media. Um, of course, we also looked at the uh, term immersive storytelling, so notions of immersion and storytelling play significant roles in conjun conjunction with AR, VR. Um, for example, um, immersion as a multidimensional concept here, physical presence, involvement and social pre presence are independent variables that influence the immersive experience. Um, in Junction with interactive storytelling and immersion, uh, those can also be uh, divided uh, into categories of spatial, temporal, and uh, emotional um, aspects. Um, as you can imagine, uh, we had, of course, uh, relevant lit literature uh, we were studying for the Immersive Media Lab. This is just some excerpts of that. Um, but in order to allocate all five use cases for the Immersive Media Lab within defined categories, um, the Poetics of Immersion of Marie Laura Ryan provided useful guidelines. So we have there the complete graph, the network, the tree, the maze, the hidden story, the braided plot, and so on. So let's go into the first area, creative media. Here the 
Immersive video interaction EV and intermediate motion tracking in AR and VR are located, uh, but they are located on different ends within the spectrum of creative media. So EV investigates cinematic ways of immersive storytelling, and um, the use case also relies on the role of the observant participant in VR experiences. On the other hand, IMTA is based on post-digital storytelling. So it combines experimental performative dramaturgies with technologies that elude conventional narrative strengths, such as motion capturing or real-time visualization. Uh, in EV, the story is defined as uh, offering the user a content, so a complete story with a beginning and end um, and with a structure that can be explored by the user. Evie was working with selected cinema cinematic VR films from the, in in the uh, entertainment industry. Criteria for the selection was it should be live action, it should, there should be an interactive narrative where the user can take the role as an active observer or active character. There was a user study done, three projects that were meeting the selection criteria were Afterlife, Broken Nights and Playing God. Those three projects were analyzed and visualized. And here you can see uh, that the tree structure was the underlying narration of all three uh, examples. But uh, when you have the user view, um, the user sele selected story branches within the tree structure turn out to be a well-formed story with a beginning, middle and an end. Uh, within the user study of uh, uh, EV, all VR examples offer immersive experiences and allow users to feel present and part of the story. The active role of the user and the conscious decision about the story's progress have an emotional impact and contribute to more user involvement. It came out that interaction points with visual clues interrupt the feeling of presence, but this is something uh, you ha that has to be um, um, looked in further. For details results, please see uh, Rosa von Süß et al. 2022. Our next use case, intermediate motion tracking in AR, VR. Uh, here, um, IMTA considers story as outcome of an open experimental artistic research approach. So um, in IMTA, we were capturing the choreographic performance um, by using motion tracking. And this Choreographic substrate, substrate was then um, transferred into a virtual sphere. Um, here, the narration of a network structure uh, was um, was applic applicable because the audience can take multiple paths for exploration. Also ap applicable was the house of the many windows, uh, according to Ryan, because. Um, multiple paths which can be individual accessed are presented like open windows. The technology used in IMTA was the Rococo motion suit in uh, combination with Unity. Um, this suit serves as a co costume behind uh, beyond technological use. Um, the suit communicates with hardware and software and transforms it into narrative elements. Um, the digital available choreographic story can be replayed, but it can also be resembled in post-production in form from various archived artifacts. Um, IMTA used a selected piece for interpretation, which was the Anton Weber String Quartet Opus 28. And this was done in cooperation, in cooperation with Andrea Nagel, the New Design University and Virtuality. And, uh, Again, if you want to see some further results of the use case, please see Wintersberger et al. in 2021. We are now going to our next section, which is smart manufacturing. Here, auditory augmented reality in production, ARIP and ARVR interfaces for the industrial internet of things uh, were both uh, located. In general, industrial mach machinery are cyber physical systems that have a virtual re representation, uh, which is named digital twin, and that is updated uh, in real time with data from reality. But of course, uh, this available data does not capture the entirely uh, the behavior of a machine. 
ARRI focuses on audio augmented reality um, because auditory systems play an important role in building up intrinsic knowledge. IET extends the potential of visualization of interaction with the data of augmented reality also through narrative elements. Our first use case in auditory um, in smart manufacturing, which is auditory AR in production, Arib considers story in terms of coherence uh, and also uh, relying to a start and an ending point. But it is based on sonified machine learning results uh, in combination with human interaction. So the story qualifies to collect and transfer knowledge about events and processes or convey a mass of data in an understandable fashion. The story itself cannot be planned because it depends on the status of the machine. Arib follows a linear vector structure in this innovation. So in most cases, the story corresponds to the standard process. Um, so it's moving forward. But as soon as a change in the machine uh, occurs, the story turns towards the side branch of the narration. Of course, story is here limited. So one side, it could fulfill some expectations, but uh, if there is an error in the machine, uh, there will be a deviation within the narration. Arib, in general, uh, was cooperating with Metaflex, which is a production of edging technique, and also with a school um, in St. Pölten, which is uh, close to our uh, university. Arib retranslates acoustic emissions of machines processed by feature extraction and machine learning into perceivable information as an auditory AR. So um, normally uh, operators in manufacturing wear ear protections as, as headphones. Um, they're often attached to music players or the radio, and this was further developed. Also, in the case of machine error, instead of alarm sounds within the uh, ear protection, Arib implemented signal processing al algorithms to apply patina effects to the music playback. So you have a music and when there is a machine error, uh, the music, uh, the quality of the music changes. If you want to see more about this use case, please uh, see also uh, Iber et al. There are two papers from 2019 and 2020. The second use case within smart manufacturing is AR VR interfaces for the industrial Internet of Things. Uh, here, similar to Arab story, can be seen as a structured way to support conveyance of information. IET worked on two aspects, the onboarding of workers and second one, live surveillance of uh, its current state. Uh, important is that abstract machine data need to be transformed into intuitive visual metaphors uh, to support humans in learning and monitoring processes. As the users have total freedom in navigation, the storytelling for this approach would uh, resemble to a complete graph. The technology used for IET was the Microsoft HoloLens 2. It blends virtual objects with real environments. It is a head-worn display, which is important, so you can use your hands freely to, for example, repair a machine. The abstract machine data is uh, transformed in real time into visual metaphors. There were two aspects of this project. One prototype was a miniature model furnace that can be placed in front of the user. This was intended for onboarding and telemonitoring for remote locations. And the second one is a real say, size AR over actual furnace. So this is more for maintenance and repair applications. And the machines of the furnace, here the inner workings are not visible directly, so the AR glasses can be used to visualize the data from inside the machine directly. Yeah, well, the classical data displays is mostly helpful for expert users. Those indexical visualizations and figurative overlays like animated errors, symbolizing an airflow, for example, are also easily understandable for novices. Um, this was done in cooperation with Neumann Aluminium, a uh, melting furnace for aluminium scraps. And of course, the results were also shown and tested there. For details, results, please see also Husinski et al. 2022. Last but not least, our last area is digital healthcare. 
here we have the use case enlightening patients with augmented reality uh, that represents the area of healthcare. It is centered on patient education. It aims to give patients a general understanding of strabismus surgeries. Within the increased complexity of medical procedures, a carefully designed story needs to contain all vital facts about the procedure uh, while keeping the user engaged and interested. So they have to follow the story until the end. The story in the context of APA is defined similarly to EV, so very conventional. And three chapters were created for the AR application. One is the explanation of the function of a healthy eye and the effects of uh, strabismus, which is basically if you're cross-eyed. Then secondly, the eye surgery itself and see the recovery of the healing process. The narration would take place in the waiting room, so a smartphone-based AR solution was selected. And the story follows the structure of a vector with optional side branches, as suggested by Ryan. EPA also did a, a big user test, and here three different interaction prompts were tested. One was uh, visual highlights around the 3D model, then haptic feedback uh, through phone vibrations and auditive feedback using notification sound. The AR experience was received very well by the test users and the visual feedback highlighting the possible interaction prompts was found the most effective, while the haptic and auditory signals were disliked by the users. So let's jump to the conclusion. More or less coherent story in the traditional sense was um, used by uh, immersive video interaction and enlightening patients for, uh, with augmented reality. Uh, more fragmented or artistic storytelling for intermediate motion tracking in AR-VR and sta data storytelling for uh, AR-VR interfaces for the industrial and Internet of Things and auditory augmented reality in production. Regarding the media specificity, uh, VR was used for immersive video interaction and intermediate motion tracking in AR-VR. AR was used for AR-VR interfaces for the industrial Internet of Things this was uh, the HoloLens and enlightening patients with augmented reality was using smartphones. And then we had auditory uh, AR, which is not so prominent uh, within uh, augmented and virtual reality, but was a really good example for our use case to include. Uh, regarding the narrative elements, the tree structure was applicable to immersive video interaction and the vector with side branches was suitable for auditory augmented reality in production and enlightening patients with augmented reality. The network was interesting for intermediate motion tracking in AR-VR and also for AR-VR interfaces for the industrial uh, in the Internet of Things. However, IET could also be allocated to the complete graph and intermotion tracking on AR, VR could also be possible to allocate within the house of the many windows. Yes, this was a very quick overview uh, about our project, about how story and storytelling could function within a very broad directions of smart manufacturing, of healthcare, digital healthcare, uh, but also uh, creative media. As I mentioned before, if you're interested uh, in, in uh, more details, please see our already published papers. And thank you very much for your attention.